All right, guys, it is Sunday, August 4th, 2024, and we're back on the grind. And in today's video, our aim is to make about $90 and change. Um, let me let you know. <laughs> Yesterday, yeah, $90.80 to get to $500 for the week. That's gonna be the week's goal. And I determine, I think I'm gonna determine what the week's goal is when I have one one day left, basically, you know what I'm saying? Because, I don't know, I just work and, uh, you know, whatever I make, I make, I guess, because sometimes things are so unpredictable that you could have a plan and then my wife might hit me up and say, hey, by the way, such and such, and I'm like, oh my God, yo. <laughs> so today, $90.80, and we're gonna talk about the week as well. Road to $500 for the week. Less than last week, but it is what it is. So we're gonna start the day off with a Spark order paying $32.35, 13.6 miles. We're shopping for two customers. One customer has one item and the other one has six. It's going up to like flushing area, all highway miles. It's gonna be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I'm gonna look to dirty stack it with an Instacart or an Uber Eats. Let's make it happen. And we are back. Guys, it is hot. Jeez. But I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining because when winter come around, I'm gonna be like, damn, it's cold. So, guys, finished that shop really quick. And now I have an Instacart order that's paying like mm, about 14 and change. It ain't going too far. It's pretty much on the way to drop off these Spark orders. And, uh, you know, combined, I'm gonna make a total of about $47 for this trip. So, that's why dirty stacked it like that and who knows maybe i'll just turn on uber eats to see if i get something because the quick i can make this 90 dollars is the better man we'll go home and relax a bit so see you at dick's sporting goods which is just across the parking lot over there all right let's get it all right yeah dick's sporting goods yeah all right, guys, we're looking for compression shirts. And uh, gotta make this quick. Oh, I think we're in luck. Guys, I usually shy away from buying clothing items, but today was like, whatever, let's go for it. One, two, three. All right, guys, we got the order picked up and we have 10 minutes to drop it off. It said it's gonna take us 10 minutes to the drop off. So let's go. So we're not late. And from there, well, from now, I'll just start the first Instacart order. So the Spark order. So let's do that and be on our way. I did put in for a roadie gig close to the drop off for the Spark orders. It's paying about $12, Best Buy. I'm hoping I get it, and if I do, I could like add some maybe CVS or another Best Buy gig to the route. So, you know, that, that should take us into the 60s, 70s if I do get lucky. And I'll just come back and do one spark order and call it a day. You see what I mean? I should keep working, but I'm gonna stick to the plan, hit the goal, and go home. Yeah, it was cloudy, but it's not cloudy anymore. So um, I might actually go home and throw something on the grill. Drink a beer or something, you know what I mean? Gotta enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Because there's people who are not enjoying their life. I did get the roadie gig too, so perfect.
1.7 miles away from the Best Buy. It said it's gonna take us 13 minutes and this is taking us all the way back down to Bricktown, Jamaica. So, what, what is this, what are you doing, man? Damn. Anyways, yeah, this is gonna take us back so we won't be driving dead miles back to a busy hot spot. You know, and if I could add an Instacart order to this, that will be even better. So, yeah, see you at Best Buy. All right, guys, we're back at Best Buy. This should be in and out. If you're ever picking up at a Best Buy, always go to the back where the warehouse is. See, roadie drivers, wait right here. Alright, got the package. Now let's drop it off and go back. Finish the day off with a spark order. Maybe a dirty stack. Alright guys, we got the order scooped up. It said it's gonna take us 27 minutes to the drop off. Kinda, eh, you know, more time than I thought, but it is what it is, man. 26 minutes, we'll be there in a jiffy. And we should be wrapped up with the ship, hopefully by Maybe 5, 5.30, maybe in the next two hours. So we're not doing too badly, man. You see what I mean? Finish off the week strong, 500 a week. That is great, man. That is great. You know what I mean? I don't want to go too crazy because that used to be my goal. And I kind of find, I used to, I used to struggle to like reach 500s on some weeks, but not anymore. It's like easy, it's like piece of cake. God damn. All right, guys, got the order completed. And with the Best Buy orders, the customers do get a notification to come out and, you know, collect their products. But yeah, guys, there's this freaking $96 order that just dropped, man. Ah, and I put in for it late. Ah, but I didn't complete the order yet for the, the what you call it, the Best Buy. So I don't think I would have gotten it. I forgot, I forgot about the freaking um, BJ's drop though. But whoever got that order, $96, lucky. So guys, I just accepted a Spark order, paid $42.67, three stops, including the stop at the store, and uh, it's six miles. Said it should take me one hour because I'm shopping for about 29 items total. That's not a bad deal at all. Really not a bad deal. So I'm about to drive over to the Walmart. Might take me about 20 minutes to get over there and make it happen, man. That'll be it, that'll be it for today. Plus the wife hit me up and said that she, she cooked today. You know, got some Sunday food going and I'm about to, you know, pick up some beer as well you know that beer today's my friday so i gotta drink a beer you know what i mean gotta get the head nice do some editing get that content pouring out for you man appreciate everybody who's been supporting the content without a doubt see what i mean guys see you at walmart all right guys we are back at walmart and uh, i'm just gonna go in do the shop Come right back out you're not gonna see the shop it's too many items so i see you in a jiffy all right guys finished that shop and i had to bring my own bags you know because if it's up to yeah this bag is a little dirty if it's up to walmart you take the customer's food like you know in your hand their groceries. Very poor that we don't provide bags for 
Instacart, no Spark. Crazy. Alright guys, done with our shop, packed it up, and uh, let's get the things delivered, man. One thing I don't really like about the batch orders on Spark is that, like right now, I can't really go back, I don't know, I can't go back and look at the items. You know, I know I did the review and everything, but I did that at the store, and it tells me to bag the items. There's no bags! You see what I mean? Maybe next time I'll just take my bags with me. You see what I mean? And do the bagging at the store next time. But I'm not always gonna have bags. So we're going to a basement apartment over in St. Albans and it said it's gonna take us 27 minutes. <laughs> the second drop out shouldn't be too far from that though. So it should be home by maybe seven because after I'm done, I go home, close out this video and just chill guys i'm just i'm just taking it easy man i wasn't like speeding or you know running through the stores trying to shop for these items skinning my knees like some of these um instacart and spark shoppers i wasn't doing none of that i'm just chilling i already went to the w2 already today i'm just taking my time you know finish off my week make a video you know touch base with you guys that's what it's about right now man I mean there's days when I'm really grinding and I'm trying to make use of every single minute and I'm you know very efficient with my time and I'm moving fast but not today man I'm just chilling I'm just chilling we made a hundred dollars already hit the goal why am I stressing you see what I mean no stress man all right guys we are not far from the first drop off one block away and the thing about these spot batch orders is i can't remember if when i'm when i'm at the drop off if it tells me let me see if it tells me like to verify the, the if i have the right order you know what i'm saying let me click confirm arrival all right not detecting my location i'm at the right location damn spark you're on point so 130 All right, so I'm here. And let me see if it tells me that, right? Okay, so when I'm at the location, it does give me the item so I could actually click and I could verify that I'm dropping off the right items. That is great, that is definitely great. All right, so perfect, man. So guys, let me drop this off, I'll be right back. We got the one dropped off without any problems and the next one shouldn't be too far away and we're not far from home so let's click start it expires at 7 p.m and eight minutes away which is actually perfect and then my house should be about 10 minutes away too so yeah let's get it man all right guys pulling up to the next drop off and don't think I'll be able to do any uh, give you any drop off action so let me do this quick because I'm on a one way and it's very very tight so let me get this done quick leaving the back of the house and I said it's tight and here comes the car Eight
right guys, got the order dropped off to that cute couple. They came out to get the order, which is great. And we're done for the day. So on the drive home, I'm gonna crunch the numbers. And when I park, we're gonna talk about what happened this week. If I could recall every single thing, but nothing really, nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? Thank God. Knock on wood grain. But yeah, we'll talk when I get home, run the numbers, give you the tally, and maybe I'll come up with some things that I'll do in, you know, in the future. I have to come up with some ideas to do while I'm, I'm off from work. Maybe do a, a graveyard. Yeah, that, that sounds fun, right? Maybe do like a graveyard shift. Yeah, a graveyard shift will be fun. <laughs> I'm getting hyped about it already, you know what I mean? A graveyard, Grubhub, DoDash, Uber Eats, maybe even Instacart. You know, if they allow orders like late, late in the night, I guess like a 10 to, a 10 to 6. And I think the best time to do a graveyard shift would be on a Saturday night since Rody is dead on Sundays anyway, so I don't want to do that on a day where it's gonna affect my Rody money. So maybe, maybe a Saturday night. Mm. Fright night. All right, guys, we we'll talk soon. All right, guys, I'm home, parked, and involuntarily listening to some old school reggae music from someone's backyard barbecue. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Look, today on Spark we made 7502. Instacart 1466 and Rody $12.63 for a grand total of $102.31. We beat the goal, smashed it, you know, ripped it up into smithereens. You add that to the 40920 that we already made the previous three working days this week. We made a grand total of $511.51. So after I do the tally for all the apps, the total for all the apps, I'm going to have a different number. Plus when I add YouTube, I'm going to have a different number. And I'll explain. This week on Uber Eats, we made $90.20. Definitely clutch. Grubhub, $39.19. One of our best Grubhub weeks in a long time. Maybe the best Grubhub week for the year. Spark, $157 and a penny. That included a $6 incentive that I was definitely unaware of. Instacart, $35.65. We didn't work a lot of Instacart this week. We only completed two orders and got paid for a batch that we couldn't complete. Rody, $189.59. And that's without doing any Rody orders on Monday. Freight, 20 bucks. Happy for that $20. And YouTube, creeping up. Slow burner, $47.24 this week. It's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money for my YouTube channel. Guys, the aim in, in the future, do I want to put pressure on myself? No, but I want to keep the YouTube thing going. You know what I'm saying? It's a great way to keep myself accountable and keep myself going. Even though when I didn't drop current YouTube videos, I was still going out religiously. Maybe I want to make $500 a month on YouTube. You know what I mean? That would be a goal sometime in the future. So this week, guys, we made a grand total of $578.88. And we used a total of seven different apps to make that money. So let me write down my odometer reading because for the last two shifts, I forgot to write it down. So today it's saying that we drove a total of about 40 miles, which is not bad at all. And this week in terms of the total miles, 72 and uh, let me see, 72, 67, 139 and uh, 209 miles 209 miles driven man that is great for the money that we made 209 miles almost 600 dollars guys you could learn a thing or two from that but some people's market 
you have to drive a lot in order to make money. So like maybe Texas, you know, Arizona, the biggest states, but you gotta choose your orders wisely. So guys, it's been a successful week. It's been a fun week. I could have worked more, but circumstances, you know, prevented me from doing that. And also I've been trying to take it easy and spend some time with the family as well. You know what I mean? I, I had a great idea, but I forgot. Oh yeah, I was talking about the graveyard shift. Maybe one day we'll do it when I'm off. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do some DoDash, finally do some DoDash and you know, work, see how the, the overnight thing is and see if it's worth it. I know it, it will involve a lot of McDonald's and Taco Bell and White Castle and you know, Wendy's, whatever, you know, restaurants are open overnight, 7-Elevens and things like that, you know what I mean? But it'll be fun, it'll be interesting to see how much I could actually make with a graveyard shift. And it will be a fun video to make as well. So guys, um, don't really have anything else to talk about, but um, you know, it's been a good week. The van has held up again for yet another week. The oil change is due in about 700 miles or so. I may do it sooner, you know, but um, because I'm driving the van a lot, so the more you drive, the more you wanna change your oil. If it ain't broke, I ain't gonna fix it, so I'm not really gonna touch the transmission fluid or anything just yet, <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm just gonna just drive, basically. There's a few things that need fixing, I'm gonna take care of that, uh, but I'm not gonna like, you know, fuss too much and, and be too anal about things. Pause, pause, no DD. you know? But guys, I'm your boy Dom, subscribe to the channel if you're new. This is Gigabyte NYC. Don't forget to leave your thoughts down below, like the video if you haven't yet done so. And until next time, Peace out and Godspeed. We're back at it tomorrow like we never left. See you soon.